Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear It's a Great Students to Period 4 Today we are going to listen, pronounce and use a new vocabulary that we need to use in our daily life or in our English daily life اليوم احنا هنتعرف لكلمات جديدة هاي الكلمات راح تفيدنا في في حياتنا اليومية حين ما نستخدم اللغة الإنجليزية what do, you, what do we want to do with the following vocabulary? إيش نسوي مع المفردات التالية first of all we need to put clearly our objectives ما نعرف أهدافنا بشكل واضح at the end of this lesson students should be able to Use the new vocabulary in a correct context. When we know the words new, at levels different. The first level is pronunciation. The first level is the correct pronunciation. The second level is meaning. The meaning. And the third level is the most important issue. 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 How to use the, the, the new vocabulary? استخدامهم هو أهم في الأمر. نحن نتعلم الكلمات لنستخدمها. So the second objective, comprehend the passage. We have a passage today, and we are going to listen to this passage. عنا فقربنا نسمعها. And we need to recognize what and what we are going to listen. لازم نحن نفهم اللي إحنا بنسمعه. As I said before, listening is one of the main uh, skills that you as a student need to achieve and overcome the difficulties that you may find. If there are difficulties in listening, we need to overcome them. We need to practice the listening. It is impossible to practice listening only by using many steps. The first step is to understand the words and how they are used. الدقة في استخدام الكلمات لفظيا بمعنى انه لا يمكن اذا لفظت الكلمة خطأ وسمعتها خطأ فحيكون عندي عجز في الاستماع والمهم من ذلك practicing الممارسة so we need to practice okay and we need to refresh our minds about some information about Palestine okay so let's first of all we need to listen and repeat so please listen carefully and repeat what you will or what you are going to hear. Okay, let's go. Period 4, Activity 1 Area Construct Crop Deep Hotel Human being Tower Various Thank you very much. Now let me read and you should repeat. Try to guess the meaning using the picture. Okay? First picture, area. Area. And as you see, the police officer says to the woman this is area 51a this is area 51a and it is wrote here area 51a so what is the meaning of area area thank you very much area means mantika construct 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 so what do you think that this strong guy are doing? What do you think this strong guy are doing? Yes, thank you. So this guy is constructing. هذا الرجل قاعد بيعمل أعمال بناء. So construct معناها بين أعمال بناء أو يبني. Okay. So what do you think is this? What do you think is this? Crop, crop, crop. Thank you. Crop means محصول. Deep, deep. Do you see how deep is this hole? Do you see how deep is this hole? Deep, deep, deep. Thank you very much. Deep عميق. 
Now, hotel, 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 hotel. Do you see hotel, hotel? Yes, hotel, fundok. Human being, human being, human being. Look carefully. Yes. Again, young, old, and till to 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 death. Young, old, till to death. Yes, this is human being. Human being. Human being. Lul insan. Okay, thank you very much. Now tower, tower, tower. What is this? Tower, tower. Yes, thank you very much. Various, 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 various mutanawwe. Mutanawwe aw mukhtalif. Okay? Now, let's go to word formation. What is word formation? Okay, word formation is just like in Arabic, we can create many words from what we call the tarut. Hna bnigdar fil Arabi insanna min kilmi wahida. من كلمة واحدة إيش بنقدر نصنع مجموعة كلمات خليني أعطيك خليني أعطيك مثلا ملاحظة يا مثال مثلا لو جينا على كلمة كتب إيش ممكن نعمل من كلمة كتب كتاب أنت كتاب كتاب كاتب what else كتب وكتب كتب this is all of the words are كتاب كاتب كتب كتب all of it come from the main word kataba. Like another example, sha'ara. We have shu'ur and we have sha'ir, yash'ur. Am I right? So this is what we call word formation. What we call word formation. هذا ما يسمى بصناعة الكلمة. إنك أنت بتصنع الكلمة من من تصنع كلمات من كلمة موجودة. تصنع كلمات من كلمة موجودة. So in English, the same thing. We can in English we can also create new words. From other, from already existing words. يعني إحنا من كلمة موجودة فعلاً ممكن نشتق كلمات جديدة. طيب لما نشتق كلمات جديدة هذا عملية اسمها word formation. Word formation. Okay, let's see. Let's go and see. خلينا نشوف شو عنا. Tour, 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 tour. If we add ISM to the word tour, it become tourism, tourism, tourism. And if we add IST, it would be tourist, tourist. So tour, tourism, tourist. Tour, jawla, tourism, siyaha, and tourist, sa'ah. What else do we have? Farm, farm, farm. Look here, farm. What is this? This is a farm. And if we add er, it would be farmer, farmer, farmer. And if we add farmer plus ing, farming, farming. So we have farm. Farm, farmer, and farming. Okay. 
What about include? Include plus ing, it would be including. So we have include and including. Now let's go to this exercise. You need to listen carefully and decide what is the word in the gap. And we need to decide what is the word in the gap. Okay? Okay, first of all, you will listen without answering. Try to listen by yourself. Try to answer by yourself. And after that, I'll repeat the listening with answers. But you need to try by yourself. Okay? Give yourself a chance. Go ahead, let's go. Period 4. Activity 2 and Activity 3. 1. Is the Dead Sea Valley very deep? Yes, near the Dead Sea, it's over 400 metres below sea level. 2. I've heard that there are various ancient places to visit. Near Jericho? Yes. Human beings have lived there for 10,000 years, so there's lots to see. 3. Where do all the tourists stay when they come to visit? They usually stay at one of the big hotels in town. 4. Hotels mean jobs, so lots of people work in tourism. But what else do people do in this area of Palestine? Farming is very important here, too. There are a lot of farms. 5. Are there many crops that grow well round here? Yes, lots of things, including tomatoes, lemons, oranges, bananas and dates. 6. The new building is going to be the tallest tower in the world. Yes. And they're going to start constructing it next month. Now please, give yourself a chance to be the video and give yourself a chance to answer by yourself. And after that, resume the video and correct your answers. Okay, check your answers. Okay, now let's start again. Period 4. Activity 2 and Activity 3. 1. Is the Dead Sea Valley very deep? Yes, near the Dead Sea, it's over 400 metres below sea level. 2. I've heard that there are various ancient places to visit, near Jericho. Yes, human beings have lived there for 10,000 years, so there's lots to see. 3. Where do all the tourists stay when they come to visit? They usually stay at one of the big hotels in town. 4. Hotels mean jobs, so lots of people work in tourism. But what else do people do in this area of Palestine? Farming is very important here too. There are a lot of farms. 5. Are there many crops that grow well round here? Yes, lots of things, including tomatoes, lemons, oranges, bananas and dates. 6. The new building is going to be the tallest tower in the world. Yes, and they're going to start constructing it next month. Thank you very much. Now. Let's go to do this, this exercise. Now we have lots of places. One, two, three, four, five. Look at it carefully. And listen to the following conversation between this uh, man and this uh, this man and this woman. Here hadith between Jake and Tina. تمام. Hi Jake and hi Tina. There is a hadith between them about the places that they already visited, or the places that they have visited. And we are going to write the places that they have visited according to the time that they have visited. So please, first of all, 
this picture you can you can uh, have a look it in your book تقدر تشوفها في كتابك and you can listen to the recording from the uh, from the video تسمع للي شريت منها لكن uh, هعطيك فرصتين I'll give you two chances one of them uh, without answers and the other with answers هنسمع المرة الأولى بالإجابة بدون إجابات والمرة الثانية بالإجابات okay but please don't uh, don't depend only on the answers تعتمدش على الجوابات try give yourself a chance to listen and comprehend so are you ready are you ready okay let's go Period 4. Activity 4. Hi again, and we hope you're still enjoying our blog about Palestine. Now we come to our time deep down in the Dead Sea Valley. When we got down there, we went to the Dead Sea first. You know, the Dead Sea Valley is very deep, far below sea level. I went swimming there. And it was the strangest thing. I just couldn't sink. It's because the water is very salty. Have a look at my picture of him. <laughs> he looks funny. <laughs> well, after that, we rode over to Jericho. It's a very green area with lots of crops, including bananas, dates, lemons and tomatoes. Well... We got to Jericho and we started visiting some of the places that are so popular with all the tourists. Yes, tourism is important in Jericho and there are several big hotels there. So first, we went out to the west side of the city to take the cable car up Deir Kruntil. It was great to look out over the great big valley from there. It was amazing. And then we rode over to Wadi Al Kilt. That's on the west side of Jericho too. And we went hiking there for an hour. It was beautiful to walk in the woods beside the little river. And then after that, we saw the ancient city walls northwest of the modern city. And the last place we visited was Hisham's Palace. That was about three kilometres north of the city. You can still see that it really was a great palace. Period 4. Activity 4. Hi again, and we hope you're still enjoying our blog about Palestine. Now we come to our time deep down in the Dead Sea Valley. When we got down there, we went to the Dead Sea first. You know, the Dead Sea Valley is very deep, far below sea level. I went swimming there, and it was the strangest thing. I just couldn't sink. It's because the water is very salty. Have a look at my picture of him. <laughs> he looks funny. <laughs> well, after that, we rode over to Jericho. It's a very green area with lots of crops, including bananas, dates, lemons and tomatoes. Well, we got to Jericho and we started visiting some of the places that are so popular with all the tourists. Yes, tourism is important in Jericho and there are several big hotels there. So first... We went out to the west side of the city to take the cable car up Deir Kruntil. It was great to look out over the great big valley from there. It was amazing. And then we rode over to Wadi Al Kilt. That's on the west side of Jericho too. And we went hiking there for an hour. It was beautiful to walk in the woods beside the little river. And then after that... We saw the ancient city walls northwest of the modern city. And the last place we visited was Hisham's Palace. That was about three kilometres north of the city. You can still see that it really was a great palace. OK, thank you. Now let's go to our homework, please. Wajib. 
عليك أن تختار خمس كلمات جديدة تعرفنا إليها اليوم Use five of the new words that you have just learned to write five sentences from your own واكتب خمس جمل من عنده Take a clear photo to your job خد صورة كويسة واضحة Send it via classroom by the end of Friday 9th April قبل موعد ما ينتهي بكرة في الليل حتكون أرسلت لي واجبك إن شاء الله Okay Now let's check our objectives. خلنا نشوف حققنا الأهداف أولا. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to use the new vocabulary in a correct context. I believe we achieved this goal. Comprehend the passage they listen to. Yes, what about you? And refresh our minds about some information of Palestine. And I believe yes, we did so. So this is the time for saying goodbye and have a nice day. So goodbye and have a nice day.